Hello everybody, this is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and I was working in my file of facts tonight and realized it had been quite a while since I had done a file of facts video so I just wanted to show you some of the changes that I've made, some of the things that I've added and then just talk about the file of facts itself. If you've watched my videos for a while you know that I've been using this A5 Classic for um, a couple of years now but most consistently for about the last year it's kind of been my go-to um, for a lot of things. So um, I'm noticing that it's starting to show um, quite a bit of wear and so I'm kind of curious to see how well it's going to hold up as I continue to use it. I really don't have in the plans um, yet to purchase a new one um, and so I just want to kind of prolong the life of this one as long as I can but what I've noticed is along the spine back here it's starting to crack and I know as probably most of you do that probably that is because it's a little bit too full um, but there's not a lot I can take out of it right now so I'm just going to keep an eye on it and um, also keep an eye out for the next file effects that will be coming soon or hopefully not real soon um, so I have made a few changes to the inside um, the first and most notable change is a new pen um, I had decided after um, see, being in a shop that had some fountain pens and seeing the huge variety of fountain pens that they had and then also um, seeing um, others who use fountain pens that I really wanted to try using a fountain pen. So I just went on the internet, I went to overstock.com and I found this one. This is a, I believe it's Nemocene and it's um, a very inexpensive um, fountain pen and it came with several blue ink cartridges and I am using it daily. Um, it's become my go-to regular pen. Now obviously I still use all my colored pens and my specialty pens, but this is the pen that I use for just the normal everyday things in life. I usually pull it out, even at work, I pull it out of my file of facts and have it with me and it's the pen that I really like to use. Um, you may also notice on the video that I um, have lost a portion of the cap right here. Um, this is a very kind of a thin plastic cap and I think that part of it was perhaps that I tightened it down too much. Um, part of it just may be that it's thin and kind of an inexpensive plastic and it's cracked. I've only been using this for a little over a week and you can see it's as far as that portion of the cap it's not going to last much longer but I am using that. I have started putting the pin in this direction because it was stretching out my um, my elastic here when I was putting it in you know the normal pin way. Um, I also have moved it to the center. I am going to have to see how that works because with the different bulk that I've added um, it's um, really putting a lot of stress onto the snap. The other thing that I've added is this um, paper pad. My original Filofax paper pad was I think completely gone or maybe had one sheet left into it and I found this paper pad actually at the same shop where I um, started looking at the fountain pens a little more closely and it's bright orange. In fact if you look at the top of the spine here you can see how orange that is. It's a Rhodia paper pad and it came in different um, types of paper but I chose the grid paper um, just because I think it's a lot of fun and I've been keeping notes in that sometimes there are notes that I tear out so it's starting to get thin but that's definitely also increased the bulk of my um, file effect so I may have to take that out because it was so bright orange I took some Martha Stewart washi tape and just kind of made a design on it um, just going with row after row of coordinating washi tape and um, it's starting to wear off but I can always just tear it off and start over or just tear it off and leave it um, but again I may have to pull this out and find a thinner pad to put in there just to decrease the stress on my snap and on my file effects the other thing that I've kind of changed is I pulled out quite a few of my inserts for the same reason. I pulled out from March through December um, because these are fairly, they're, they're um, thinner paper and the, but then they're laminated and so by the time you get them all stacked together they do add some bulk to it. So I thought well I'll just pull those out. Now I kept the calendar inserts um, for the yearly calendar. Um, I don't have, I haven't done 
I've done the, the month on two page calendars I've printed for the whole year, but I have not started putting in the week on two pages just because I don't need all that extra bulk. Um, so after the end of the year, I've only gone as far as the end of the year. So I may come to the point where I'm only putting perhaps three or four months in at a time, but I do want to keep the full month on two page calendar in there so that I can um, write appointments as they come up. And for the first time today, I put my first appointment in for 2016. I can't believe the year's almost over. So um, as we come to the front, this all has stayed the same from the previous video, except for I've added some paper. This is some of the um, list paper from the Rhodia pad, or however you say that. And um, these are different meal ideas, so that when I'm doing my menu planning, which I'm trying to be better at, then I kind of have some ideas so that I'm not sitting there trying to come up with them off the top of my head. And we'll just add to the list, and they're divided into different types of um, meats and uh, pasta and those kind of things. So the rest of that's just the same. Nothing's really changed in the front of this. The next change comes in a pocket that I made. And um, I will be showing a process video on this probably within the next day or two. This is from Close to My Heart paper. And I just made a very simple pocket page. Um, and I put it in, it's, it's in October, simply because I wanted to have it close to my September calendar. And um, you can see I've done, I've started decorating a little bit more than what I've done in the past, just taking a little bit of time. This is some washi tape that I have from close to my heart that has been discontinued. I don't know if it's still available in the wall supplies last section or not, but it's really fun and it's summery. And um, so I wanted to pull that in all the purple washi tape is just to cover different appointments but um, so I'm I fill in my month and this portion is not um, I'll, it's not really co color coordinated there's some mild color coordinating in there but for the most part this is where I um, grab my fountain pen and just write things in or whatever pen I have handy and write things in so that it's there and then once I get into the month on two or the week on two pages, that's when I start color coding it. So um, when we move into these new inserts that I started using, um, well, let's go back to the pocket first. Um, the pocket actually has a pocket here, and then it has a pocket on this side, but then I also made it so that this top part is a pocket, so that if I needed something in there, I could have it. Um, I don't. I haven't started putting a lot of stuff in the pocket. I've got a little phone number in there, but I think that'll be useful for keeping receipts and stuff that I normally clip, and then I'm afraid they're going to slip out. So we have those. Um, I did not show the planner kit um, that came from Studio Calico in the month of August. Um, it was coming as we were doing getting ready for vacation and so I didn't really have time to do a video but this is this little clip came in it and so right now just because it's cute I just have it holding some pages together um, and um, I have been decorating it a lot better and having more fun with that brings us to this week. Let's pull this out because I'm still using those. You can see I've used more of the washi tape from that same collection. Um, this is a little task that I have to do. I haven't, I don't have a lot on my to-do list because it usually just depends on what, you know, various times through the week I'll start adding that. This little sticky note is something that's on my to-do list to do, but I'm relatively certain that it won't get done this week, so I just want to be able to move it as I um, add things on it and take things off. This is actually, sticky note was actually that much larger, um, but I pulled the little bit of a shopping list off because I don't need that anymore. And then I'm just decorating it and it's working really well for me. Um, I really like these inserts. I'll put a link down below into the Etsy shop where I purchased them. So um, if you are interested in purchasing them, they're not dated. So you can just go in and put your own dates in and it's working really well. I put um, different stickers for my months and um, then I just go with it. So that is brings us up to where I currently am with my file of facts, and we'll see um, what changes are there between now and the end of the year. 
So thanks so much for stopping by today. And remember, take some time to enjoy the little things. Have a great day. Bye.